surprises Alice. Now, the party guests assemble before a picturesque gazebo. Underneath, Hamish drops to one knee and offers his open hands. Alice takes them, and they look into each other's eyes. Alice Kingsley. Hamish? Please. You have a caterpillar on your shoulder. He notices the fat blue worm. Yeah. He reaches for it. Don't hurt it. Alice gently picks up the caterpillar, sets it aside, then faces Hamish again. You'll want to wash that finger. Nearby, an artist paints the two of them under the gazebo. Alice Kingsley. He smiles, she stares. The guests stand still in their pastel summer clothes. Will you be my wife? He beams at her. Breathing heavily, Alice shifts her stance. Well? She looks out over her friends and family. Everyone expects me to. Hamish glances aside. And you're a lord. My face won't last. And I don't want to end up like... She glances at her sad, wrinkled aunt. But this is happening so quickly. She lets go of Hamish's hands and faces outward. I think I... Hamish's parents look on. Alice notices the white rabbit standing at the corner of a hedge, tapping a pocket watch. I think I... She hops down and hurries around the hedge, leaving Hamish kneeling alone on the gazebo. Alice chases the white rabbit, leads her down a wooded trail. She ducks a low tree branch, then backs thinner branches aside. As she follows the leafy path, her swift footfalls pound the dirt. The white rabbit halts by a tree trunk, glances back, checks his watch, and scurries on. Alice scales a hill to the twisted trunk. It's a stump taller than Alice. The girl crouches over a hole at its base. Peering down, the young woman leans close for a good look. Hello. The edge gives, and Alice falls headfirst into the pit. The daylit mouth of the hole recedes into the distance as Alice falls past odds and ends of furniture and household items. She bumps a bookshelf, spilling its contents. Plummeting on, Alice flips head over heels and attempts to grab a root, but it breaks. Above her, a falling grand piano plunges her way. Alice gapes, then shields her face from the keyboard, which strums itself. As the piano slips out of view, Alice writhes in freefall, her body rotating. She shoots past more books and clutter, and barely ducks her head under a bulky artifact. Now, falling backward, she bounces off a brass bed, which halts her wild descent only briefly. Alice falls through a surface of black and white tile encircled by multiple doors. She lands hard, rolls to her belly, and sits up. Alice sees the lit candles of a chandelier come into focus, upside down. Our view of her alarmed face finds her long blonde hair standing straight up, then rotates to show her kneeling on the ceiling. Alice falls again. She now lies on the black and white diamond checkered floor. Alice glances around, plants her palms, and rises to her feet. She takes in the dim rotunda, turning in circles at the sight of the many, many doors. She crosses to one and tries the handle. 